Superheroes have codes of ethics. Martial arts have tenets of behavior. Heck, religions have doctrines. Well, what about you? Do you behave according to moral guidelines? Let's find out. Patrick here, and welcome to Module C in Step 2, Identify Your Beliefs. Now, this assignment is about exploring what drives your beliefs. And you're going to need Worksheet 2B, Identify Beliefs, for this assignment. And before going further, you should have already watched the Julian Block video that I sent you earlier. So here you are in progression of modules in step two. You've completed the obituary assignment. You've completed the values assignment. Here you are. You're moving right along. Well done. Now, all the modules in this step two, remember, are about creating, wait for it, wait for it, your prime directive. Absolutely. We're going to get there step by step. And I'm helping you to build up to that objective. Now, you know, for the module that was about values, which you just did, you answered the question, who am I? Now, for identifying beliefs, which is where you're at right now, you're going to answer the question, what do I think? Now, this whole process is kind of cool because it gives you an opportunity to decide whom you want to be as a person. But more specifically, what do you believe is true about yourself? For example... I believe I'm strong and resilient, or I believe I'm a failure, or I believe I'm successful, or I believe I'm in control of my future, or I believe I'm lazy. Now, core beliefs are the beliefs we have about ourselves, about other people, about the world we live in. Our core beliefs determine how we perceive and interpret the world. And our core beliefs are deeply seated and don't often even come up to the surface where our conscious thoughts are. And we act in accordance with our values and beliefs, conscious or unconscious. Now remember, these are things we hold to be true deep down. But according to my friend Pat, let's be clear here, trauma and memories are not beliefs. You are free to choose what you believe. These beliefs aren't even necessarily based in evidence or facts. But after a while, if we're not checking their validity, they do tend to feel real to us. Now, core beliefs are typically stated in just a few words, like the examples I just mentioned. I believe I'm strong and resilient. Now, <laughs> this kind of sucks, but you're more likely to believe something negative than something positive about yourself. But you don't have to be your negative beliefs. But remember, even though that's true, our beliefs often influence our actions. So it makes sense to want to change them sometimes. And most beliefs are invisible. Beliefs in our life are choices. Beliefs in our life are choices. And after you've completed this module, you'll be able to examine some of your core beliefs and evaluate them and how they support or don't support where you want to be as a person. Your belief system helps you orient yourself in a way that what you do matches what you want in the social environment. Now, unfortunately, many people have not critically examined their belief systems, so they're mired in them. Is that you? If it is, don't worry. Most people never do what you're about to do, and a lot of people are mired in these belief systems that are pretty negative. We often hear about parents saying that they're trying to mold their kids to be good citizens. You were molded. So was I. So is everybody. But how is that molding working out for you? Do you think you might want to make some changes? Well, here's your chance, of course. And let me repeat, you are free to choose what you believe. And like adding values, you can mold and change your belief systems, despite how your brain has wired itself up to this point. So for this assignment, I want you to take the worksheet to see identify beliefs and create a list of the beliefs you have about yourself right now. And later in our one-on-one -on -one session, we'll challenge your assumptions and move to modify your beliefs. And as my cousin Kim used to say, hold on to your hat and don't stand up because the ride is going to get pretty interesting from here on in. And you're going to love it because you're recognizing yourself 
and you're drawing a new map of your future. You are free to choose what you believe. As always, feel free to contact me with any questions. I am here for you.